Hey folks, AJ the CEO here. And in this video, I want to walk you through what exactly I do to get prepped for my ministry, how we get everything running from getting the lyrics, getting all the screens set up, the announcements set up, what I do when my pastor sends me, what his topic is. So it's going to be for y'all to see behind the scenes what I do, as well as documenting this process. Because again, I would hope the videos that I do here are not just to educate you, but to also give you ideas on how you can make your own so that you can cross train anybody else that comes back behind you. Because there is no point in you being the only one that knows how to do this, because then that means you're the only one that knows how to do this. So you're, you might as well cut out vacations, all this other stuff, because that means you're pretty much going to have to be Johnny on the spot the entire time. So let me go ahead and cut over to my computer screen and let's get this whole thing started. Now, I do use a lot of products, so I all of them are pretty much in the description, but I'm gonna show you how I actually use every single one of them. So the very first thing is, this is a text message that I got from my pastor that goes to, um, to everybody in the media talking about what the scripture is, what the topic is, um, the scriptures that I need to put in um, ProPresenter for service, um, put it in the description and everything. All right, so now me personally, the first thing I like to do is actually look up the scripture myself so I can get an idea of um, where my pastor could possibly be coming from. But then I want to pick a theme out of the scripture because I'm going to be making a thumbnail for that to hopefully complement what the sermon is going to be about. So let's go here. And it says it was, it didn't say first or second, but I got a reference of what he was talking about from here. So it is going to be first Samuel. I need to make a note of that. And it is the NIV version. All right. So David said to Saul, let no one lose heart on account of the Philistine. Uh, of this Philistine, your servant will go and fight him. Saul replied, you are not able to go out against this Philistine and fight him. You are only a young man, and he has been a warrior from his youth. But David said to Saul, your servant has been keeping his father's sheep from a lion and a bear, and then came and carried off a sheep and a flock, and I went after it, struck it, rescued the sheep from its mouth. Um, when it turned on me, I seized it by its hair, struck it, and killed it. Your servant has killed both the lion and the bear. This uncircumcised Philistine favorite lion in the Bible uh, will be <laughs> like one of them because he has defiled the enemies of the living God. The Lord who rescued me from the paw of the lion and the paw of the bear will rescue me from the hand of this Philistine. Saul said to David, go and the Lord be with you. All right, so that's my scripture. Now, I already got a mindset when I saw this, but um, what I want to do, um, what I envision in seeing this is having a giant person and then having um, a small person look up and kind of playing on some of the um, thumbnails that I've been seeing on YouTube as well, too. So if we go back here, the title is Facing Your Giant. So let's go to Elements, Edit Vatu. And we are going to just look up Giant. If not, we can always edit and make this ourselves. Um, giant man or a giant I mean if I can't get this I just need to have a warrior and if I if I can't find anything I might go with um, a video and pause it so we're not looking for Spartan warriors, but we are looking for, I'm looking for someone that's actually looking down on someone. That is what I have in my mind, that the giant is on the right looking down at a tiny um, warrior looking up David, looking up at Goliath. So I like now, the other thing I'm thinking, see, I'm thinking something like this, but then there would be a giant, but obviously not swords. I like this image here because worst case scenario, or this one as well, too, I could have the giant right here and then have a silhouette of somebody small looking up at them. That would be my contingency if I can't find what I'm looking for. Um, so... 
So we're going to be searching. Yeah, you're looking up warrior one, warrior one yoga positions. That is not what I'm looking for. Uh, warrior fight. Let's see. That's a horrible expression. <laughs> Picture. Um, so I might have to go with. I might have to go with that other idea of it's a warrior up front and then uh, the back of somebody looking up at them. So trying to find something here. And again, it could just be that like the wording of what I'm looking for isn't sorted exactly the way I want it to. Um, so we got one right here. One right there, one right here. Now the only issue with this one is he's looking off of the right. I need I need them to be looking down or looking directly at the camera. Um, all right, well that one that one works. This one works. This one works. So. I think I'll do something, and I like the background. So I need to have, got to figure out how would I word this? Um, warrior looking away? I don't know. Back of man. I got to be careful what I say. See, something like this. Um, I don't need it to be like in a suit, but this is actually ideally what I am looking for in theory. Might be able to sample that one. And that's the same person that was in the picture. So let's see. Most of the time they do give me some examples of people that I can use. So let's go ahead and download this one. I'm going to assign it to a project so that if I ever had any issues, I have a license for it. I need something similar to that image. Don't need somebody in a suit. Let's see what those pictures give. That's not helping me either. Now, if this, if I can't find something here, I might have to look somewhere else. So, behind. See, that would be perfect if it was just um, upper torso. Man. Yeah. Sometimes it gotta be has it be giving you some strange stuff here. So this would be perfect if it was just um, I don't know, man, standing like this. This is exactly what I need. This right here, except for I don't need his hands out. Looks like he's happy to get ready to get his tail whipped. <laughs> but um, I don't know. Let's see if we can get close to what we're looking for. Because when we can edit all this stuff out, and then some of this is actually going to be, some of these pictures are perfect that I can use. All right. I got as close as I was able to. And this is the funniest thing is it was the original image. <laughs> that I had here. So I'm going to get this and we're going to comp all this stuff together. All right. So let me slide this over here. We still have this as a reference point. Let's go ahead and open up Photoshop. Now, again, when you're, when it comes to me, at least for making uh, thumbnails, less is more. All right. You don't have to put a whole lot of craziness and nothing like that. Now I do have a template 
that I must not have used in quite a while. Um, actually, no, it. I'm sorry. Let me take this back. I'm not going to do this in Photoshop because everybody at church does not have access to that. So we're going to go into our Gmail account for the church, and we're going to go into Canva. This is where I do all of this because anybody can come in and do this. So we have a bunch of our um, stuff here. So I'm just going to come in here and make a copy of the most recent one. And let's pull up our title again, Facing Your Giant. So let's give it a title here, Facing Your Giant. All right. Now, I always use a certain font. Um, it makes it makes this work good. So I need to, uh, I'm cheating here because I need to use something that's very readily available. But now that I realize the pictures that I'm using are going to require me to um, do some editing, which I kind of don't like. So we got that here. I have to find another image that I can use that um, we can do transparent. <sighs> struggle, struggle. And again, I could easily look up some stuff, but I don't want to do that. All right, so we got this. Now, I am cheating a little bit since we're using Photoshop. I'm going to do a smart selection to see if it'll just pull just the man out. And it did. I'm going to copy that, make that into a new image here. And we're just going to paste it like this. Now, that is going to be very weird. But I'm going to show you what I'm going to do with this. I want to make sure this is transparent. And we are going to export this as man. All right. So now let's go ahead and import this image that I just made. I'm going to bring this over here. Bring this up just a little bit. And that almost looks kind of crazy. <laughs> I gotta be careful with that. So I almost want to set him to the side because that is church, folks. It's church. So I need to put some type of blur on this to make it seem realistic. So actually, I'm going to blur him instead. Something like that. And then we're going to blur this image just a little bit. So now let's get our scripture here. First Samuel. What was that? 17? Or was it 14? Uh, yeah, 1732 to 37. And then facing your giant. Now I need to play with how this wording is done because just putting it to the side is going to block everything else. So let's go ahead and put these as centered. We're going to drop the font size maybe to 70 because I want to put everything on one line. All right, so the good thing is I can do it this way. I want to put him in front of the um, facing, all right? So all we have to do is move the position, bring this forward, and boom. 
And now let's crank up this font to 80. And we're going to make it a little bit wider because we want that text to stand out. Still want to be able to clearly see the your. Let's put a little drop shadow on here. No, not that one. We want to put a drop shadow here, make it stand out just a little bit. Bring this up here. And we need to darken this a little bit. See, I know I'm going a little bit overboard. But hey, this is the stuff that makes your stuff stand out. So right there, I think that looks good. All right, and you see that, it's like, uh, okay. Let me drop this blur just a little bit. Something like that, and there we go. So now, I'm going to go ahead. Now, I'm going to have to make this twice because we use this image um, for our graphic as well, too. So I'm going to actually build this out again um, for ProPresenter at church since we this is the thumbnail, but we also do this again for inside the sanctuary. So we're going to download that. And because we use Vimeo to send um, the stream everywhere, I'm going to log into the Vimeo account. I'm going to go to our live stream that is linked to all of our platforms. And here it is. So we're going to change the title here because this title gets pushed everywhere else. Facing your giant. We're going to change the thumbnail to what we just downloaded. All right, so we got this set up. That's going to be handled for everything that goes online. All right, so now we're now that was leveraging Envato Elements and all this other stuff. I did use um, Photoshop to cheat just a little bit, but I'm sure you could find um, a transparent background to do the same thing. That's all I did was separate that one person. All right, so now what we're going to do now is use Chrome Remote Desktop to remote into the church computers. Media One is the one that runs our um, Pro Presenter. All right, so let me go to monitor number one. And first thing we're going to do is I'm going to upload the image that I just made. There it is on the desktop. And then I'm going to upload all the other pictures because, like I said, I have to build this out. So it's that one. Then the one that I did separated right there. And we're going to build this out in ProPresenter. All right. Now let's open up ProPresenter. And just that quick, somebody beat me to it in the, in the media. Let me show you what they actually made. That's what they made. So that was, I'm telling you, minds, minds think alike. All right, so for right now, I'm going to settle this out because I, I, I am more than happy to have other people do this, but we're just going to go ahead as if we were doing it. All right, so now, first thing we're going to do is I know my pastor, so even though he gave us this scripture, I like to load up every version just in case, so it's very easy for us to switch over if we want to. So 1 Samuel 17, 32 through 37 I'll do New King James. I am in our Sunday service where we just rotate this stuff out. We don't have to change a lot. I'm just going to add this to Sunday service. Then we're going to just go through everyone. American Standard. We add that. Also, regular King James. Just going to add that. Also going to add the NIV, which is specifically the one that pastor wanted to use for this. And the message is way too long, so I'm not going to add that. Um, oh, yes, yeah, it's, it's, it's going to be real cramped. And I didn't add Amplified. 
All right. So we just added the scriptures. So because of this layout, all we got to do now is just drag everything to the areas where we need them to go, which is right there at scripture. So boom, there we go. But again, the default one is here. Now, we also use a specific background that just meshes well with our graphics and stuff like that um, in the screen and the layout. So I need to find that, and then I'm going to put that at the front of each one of our scriptures. If I can find it. There it is, right there. So we're just going to drag this to our first one, and we're going to set this to our actions and our look. We're going to set our look to always be full screen. All right. So we're just going to go ahead and copy that, and we're going to paste that. Actually, forget it. I was going to paste it. I'll just put it here. All right. Oh, that works. I can paste it. So we're going to go to each one and we're going to paste this so that because of our action, it will actually, if we were in any other um, look other than full screen, once this slide is picked, the scripture, it would put it in the appropriate way. Right, because we used to do a lot of lower thirds, but we don't do that now just because it's hard for people to read with all the white and everything that we have in the sanctuary. So we do more of a super source where it shows the full screen, um, and then we crop whoever's on the pulpit to see. So we got that set up. Now, I don't recall the songs yet. All right, so we have the songs for the Sunday. I just pulled that up. So we're going to search. Um, most of these are pretty um, ones we used before. So here in ProPresenter, we're going to use Control-F to do Find. Control-F. And Praise and Worship is our God. Do we have that? Yes, we do. So we're just going to move this into the appropriate location. Praise and Worship. Boom. Next one is oh how we love you All right, and that's right before that is a sermonic selection so that's going to go right there all right good those are the only two so now we just got to make sure that as you can see this was already done we're going to add that look in here because originally we used to do everything in lower thirds, but we're changing that. So now as we do, actually it was already here right there, but we do it here on the front one. It doesn't really matter. All right. Now let's go to this one. And there it is. Our look right here again. Let's see what look that is. See, that's still in lower third. We need to switch this back to full screen. So when we go to it, and everything is fine. All right, so we're good. Now, there's some other stuff I need to do. We have a Super Bowl watch party at the end of church, um, Black History announcement, and then announcements that no one sent me. And let me make sure, um, because if somebody sent it to me, I've got something else I got to make. These are all the pictures I got to go back and make for our announcement stuff. But yeah, no one sent anything for announcements. So yay, I am free from doing that. All right, so we already got this other stuff in place. So we're good for our announcements. So at this point, now we're here at our sermon. We're going to take in everything that we just did, and we're going to do this again. So let's go ahead and edit. We already have um, a presentation called Sermon Title, where we just change this over and over again. So the first thing we're going to do is I'm going to minimize this so that I can bring in this picture. And actually, let's do it here first. I'm going to bring it here. And we're going to change the inspector 
because for whatever reason, it doesn't fill out the whole screen. So we want to scale to fill. So it takes up the entire screen, all right? So now let's delete this one. And then we are going to edit this. Now, for whatever reason, um, because of our screen, I need to add a kind of like a, um, a layer just to color this out. Now, I guess I could do opacity, but I don't want to do that. So I typically will just add a rectangle and make it black and then change the opacity on that to around, I don't know, 65%. So it darkens it just enough. And actually, that's way too dark. Let's do it at... Thirty percent. We'll do something like that. All right. So I need to set this aside because we still need to add the other image on top of this as well. Um. So there we go. There's our boy. And we're gonna increase this size just a little bit. Actually, the smaller works. And I'm gonna set him to the side a little bit. All right, so now I need to move this up, bring to the front, so it will darken everything. It just this is just something just figured out over time with our wall, so that when we put up an image like that, it shows up clearly. All right, so now that we got this, what we're gonna do is duplicate that, and now we're on item number two. And I guess I could do this all on one slide now that I think about it. Let's do it on one slide. So we're going to add text. And we use League Spartan for our font. So we're going to do Facing Your Giant. Let's crank up the size. Let's say 300. It's a little too big. Let's go 250. All right, and let's widen this out to take up the entire screen. And we need to drop this a little bit more. Let's just go straight 200. All right, that works. So we're going to add a drop shadow. And let's do this for emphasis. Let's make giant all in caps. All right, now what we're gonna do is I want this image to come up first, but we're gonna do this as a, a second press. This simulates the second slide that I was trying to make. We're gonna go ahead and do the text. We're gonna do a build and we're gonna do on click. And how are we gonna do that? How are we gonna fade it in? Uh, I'll do a dissolve, all right? So that's how that's gonna work. So now, if we come back out and we show the slide, as you can see, it just shows this, and then when we click again, then that's when the text comes. So that's what we got for our title. We got everything in place. We have our music in place. We have our live stream set up. Everything is in place, so we're good to go. Um, and all of our music, everything. So this is typically what I do um, every Sunday to go through when we get stuff. And that's why, hopefully, let me be the bad guy for anybody who's not in media ministry who is watching this. This is why if your media ministry is asking for stuff on time, this is the reason why. Now, thankfully, I had something simple. So we were able to do all of this. And this is the prep that I do before Sunday. When I get stuff late, sometimes I'm doing this at six in the morning on Sunday. Um, preferably, especially if like right now, if somebody sent me an announcement, I would tell them it's too late because normally um, I need to get stuff by close of business by Wednesday. So it gives me enough time to make this stuff. Um, but hopefully... Um, this helped y'all have an insight on how I do my stuff. Again, I'm not saying this is the standard. This is just how I've gotten used to doing this. And again, 
from this standpoint, I have done this within 15 to 20 minutes before service. So I have enough time to spin it around, but I love having enough time to actually make it. And I'm not pressed about it. So let me know um, what stuff did you see me do? Do you do? Or do you do something different? I would love to know. Um, Cause again, this is a, this is mutual. It's just not me teaching. I'm learning from y'all as well too. Now, side note, let, let me do a little PSA. I am always the student, so I'm trying to learn stuff. So if you send me a comment and say that this isn't working, that doesn't help me. Give me an example of what I can reference to fix. Like I know a bunch of people have been sending me messages about fix my audio, this, this, and this. Hey, I'm working on it. I'm continually working on it. But to let y'all know, I can't go back and retrofit and retrofix audio. I take the lessons and I move forward. But please give me an example because when I edit, I set everything here, the video and my speakers to 50%. So it sounds perfectly fine to me, but you know, I'm going back and forth and learning. So just like I try to give y'all an example of what I'm talking about. If you have a critique for me to improve what I'm doing, please give me an example to reference and just don't tell me, AJ, your stuff stinks. That doesn't help me. I don't learn from that. But anyway, let me know what y'all do. Um, so that way I can learn from y'all and then what resonates with y'all and let me know. And then if you like this type of stuff, I'll start making some more stuff behind the scenes and everything. Cause honestly, I don't like, I kind of didn't want to make something like this cause I think this is boring, but enough of y'all have asked about it. So it might be boring to me, but it's important to y'all. So, Hey, this channel is meant to help y'all in whatever capacity that I can. So if you like this type of content, appreciate a like, consider subscribing, hit that bell. That way you get notified when we come out with other videos to help modernize your media ministry. My timing got off because I was tapping my knee and I'm just like, mm. <laughs> anyway, links are down below to every single application that I use. They are affiliate codes. Hey, you don't, I don't get paid from you doing that. They pay me, but Hey, that's how we always do. So anyway, thanks for watching folks. This is AJ. We'll catch you on the next video later.